Hello, lovies! Welcome back to the last day of Vlogmas. We had one of the most amazing Christmases we've had in a very long time. It was so wonderful to be with family. I miss my son and his girlfriend and my best friend Lisa terribly. We had our like little traditions and things that we did and it's like you it's like it stinks like I can't get everything all at once. I was so stinking excited to be home for the first time in like 18 years to be home for Christmas. But yet all the things that I've done for 18 years <laughs> with my son, his girlfriend, my bestie, all of those things, I didn't get to do all of them. So I missed them terribly while I was so thrilled to be able to do all of these other things with family members that I haven't seen in 18 years. It's like you just... But I was so grateful, so grateful. And I did get to video chat with my son. It's not the same as him being here. But for right now, that's what happened. So, but it was one of the best Christmases we have ever had. So I have some um, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day highlights to share with you guys. I really just was in the moment. I really thought I was going to be able to get a video up for Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day. But we were just having so much fun and I was with family and I just, we were, we stayed late. We just, so anyways, I just was enjoying my time with my family. So I'm going to combine it all and just show you some highlights from Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Christmas Eve, we played games and I made my charcuterie boards and dips and all that. And then Christmas Day, we had presents and all of the fun things. So I'm going to share some highlights with you guys and then stay tuned to the end because I'm going to share with you guys what I got for Christmas. <laughs>
from a horny a taco, a taco meat from the horn of a horny rhino. A taco made from the horn of a horny rhino. Gee, I wonder who wrote that. I don't know. Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Her. <laughs> Who wrote that? Not me. Oh, I don't it had know. to be John. No. No. It wasn't it me. John. I didn't write that. <laughs> or a cow with the green tongue. Oh. Spanish word for hornets. A Mexican frog. Or a small clump of molten lava. It's probably a small. I It's Christmas. And what does it get? Butt scratches? Pretty much. Did you get butt scratches for Christmas? Alright, pick one. Those are. You come over here and sit down. <laughs> what? What did you get? Bluetooth speaker. That can play in your room. Stitch. <laughs> stitch. Those are in here. <laughs> Sit down, you. Squishy. Is your little nub going? Huh? Is your nub going? Do you have a little nub going, dear nub? No, you did it. I did. No. Every Christmas, baby, reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is back oh. and the prayer. He's not wearing these outside. Okay, I know. Mama got one sandwich. Every Christmas. How's that feel? <laughs> You like those? Putting on the show, they're vibrating. It tickles. Is it tickle? It tickles. You like your shirt? Don't you touch me with that thing. What the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs>
Hehehe. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Merry Christmas, baby. <laughs> Merry Christmas, baby. <laughs> 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 Are these all the oh same my gosh, thank you. <laughs> oh. All right, now you gotta open them all at the same time. Oh, Why, what'd you get? Just open them. Oh. Just open them and find out. All right. Let's go. As you can tell, we had an absolute wonderful Christmas. It's early in the morning. I'm having my coffee. Oh, so good. And I just thought this would be a wonderful time to share some of the things that I got for Christmas. Now, I am not doing this to brag, to, you know, like, oh, look what I got for Christmas kind of thing. I know that what I got for Christmas hauls are very popular so I just thought I would like jump on that trend and share some of that with you guys I flipped my camera because I'm trying I have you set up on this thing so I'm having usually I look at this end but I think it's over on this end so if it looks like I'm not looking at you it's because honestly I don't know where to look <laughs> just thought I'd throw that in there but seriously this is 
this is not a bragging. This isn't, you know, Ooh, look what I got for Christmas kind of thing. This is just, I'm jumping on the trend. I just thought it'd be fun to share what I got for Christmas with you guys. Um, I have some really cool things and I'm more excited to show you these things because I didn't know they were out there and I'm like, this is so cool. <laughs> But the best of the best of the best, as you saw, I got a drone. I wish I would have had someone film me opening presents, but I had no idea I was going to get a drone. And I don't know, it's Christmas and you're just not thinking about things. So I never thought to ask somebody to film me if you could have seen me when I opened this. <laughs> I was freaking out. And the really cool thing is, this was a present for my grandma, and she's known I wanted a drone for a really long time, but my brother-in-law, John, he's always wanted a drone too, just to play with. He doesn't have a channel or anything, but he's just, he's a tech guy. He just loves all this techie stuff. And then her son, my mom's brother, he loves all this stuff too, because he does um, skateboarding, and he wants to like see if he can capture some shots with drones and things as he skateboards. I believe that's what he wanted it for. So she bought all three of us the same drone. So you kind of saw on that one clip right before I opened it where she was handing out the bat, the the red um, presents. And she goes, everybody has to open them at the same time. It's because we all got a drone, all three of us. <laughs> so I was the loudest, of course. But... <laughs> open these we were all freaking out so I got it all charged up and ready to go I don't have any drone footage or anything to show you guys in this video but I am thrilled to get out there and try this so probably in my next couple upcoming videos you're gonna see some drone work in those because you have no idea how excited I am to get a drone and to up my video like I can't wait to just use it so but I have to learn how to fly it first <laughs> So that was like my big present. That was like, I've been asking for a drone for almost two years. So that was like amazeballs. But I had this other thing to show you that I thought was really cool. And I think the girls would really, really appreciate it. I've never seen anything like this. And I might be late to the game. I don't know. So this was from my sister. So, you know, with my hiking and everything, a lot of people got me a lot of nice stuff to wear outside. But this was really cool. So this is really cute little you know, knitted hat. And when it was in the little package, it had pom-poms all up it. So it had these three pom-poms up the side of it. And I'm looking at it and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, why is there an extra pom-pom? Because they detach. <laughs> There's a little snap at the top of this for you to hook different pom-poms. They snap in. So depending on what you're wearing, what you're doing, you can interchange the pom-poms on these little hats. I thought this was the cutest stinking thing I have ever seen. And of course, you can go, I think she said she got this at Claire's or something like that in the mall. So of course, you can go to and buy all different kinds of like little sets of pom-poms for this hat. <laughs> Maybe I'm late to the game, but I have never seen <laughs> a hat with interchangeable little pom-poms on top. Tell me that that is not the cutest little thing. I thought that was like, whoever like invented this, they're probably a bazillionaire because this was really, really cute. So sticking with that trend, because everybody knows I love hiking and all that stuff. So they got me a lot of cute stuff. So they got me this glove um, set, which is um, the touch tech. So you can still use your phone and this beautiful scarf. I wish you guys could feel the scarf it smells like my grandma but they got me this set and with the interchangeable little hat with the pom-poms and then they got me this set this set is beautiful too so this again has the I wish you guys could feel this this is like blanket soft like the fuzzy socks soft but it has the same thing the tech where you can you can use your phone through the gloves, which is great because I'm only using my phone. But it ha it came with a little hat too, and a little fuzzy um, scarf as well. So I was thrilled because you can never ever get enough of these. And look how beautiful this set is. I wish you guys could like, I wish you guys could feel these because I can't get over how soft they are. It's 
gonna be like wearing a blanket and they're like super, super, super warm. So sticking with that theme as well, my grandmother, I think it was my grandmother, I kind of lost track who bought what, but um, she also got me a beautiful jacket. This is gonna be my like um, going out jacket. I have a hiking jacket, you guys see me in that. Been following me for a while, it's my black one. But she got me this beautiful, is this suede? I forget what material you call this. It's so soft, guys. This too feels like a blanket. This beautiful blue jacket. So this is going to be my going out jacket. Um, I don't know what this is called. I really don't. I don't know what kind of material this is called, but it's so soft. And it has the big, big buttons down the front of it. It's so beautiful on I will try this on after and put like a little side clip of here of me wearing it with my new scarves that is my like church going out that's my jacket for that and then I have my hiking jacket so now I have hats to wear out for fancy and hats to wear out when I'm like you know roughing it outside <laughs> so I loved that I got new jammies I'm trying to go through this quick because I know this I don't want this make this video super long but it is the last one of vlogmas so maybe I will. I don't want to take, you know, I want to take my time, but I don't want to be here. I don't keep you guys here forever. But I got new jammies. Look how cute these ones are for winter. With the little deer and the snowflakes. So I got that pair. I needed jammies so bad, guys. You have probably, like when I wear my jammies for like my vlogs and stuff, you've probably seen them a million times. They're the red buffalo check ones. You guys have probably seen me in those a thousand times, so the the fact that I needed jammies <laughs> was an understatement. And then I got this cute little set too, this little pair, which is um, with the snowflakes. Look how stinky cute with the snowflakes. So I got cute little winter jammies, and I think I dropped. I did. I'm just gonna show you these now. I keep dropping these. These are from my sister. They're from Shein never had anything from Shein, but she knows me so well. She knows I love mushrooms. So she got me the cutest little mushroom earrings. Look how stink. I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe that's better. Look how cute. And then the other set is bumblebees. I should, I should pause this and put, put these on. These are so cute. I'll put it up against my shirt so maybe you can see it. I don't know if that helps or not. But look. With the bumblebee. Oh my god. They're so stinky cute. I love these. She knows me so well. I love mushrooms. And bumblebees. I'm all about that stuff. So she, I got that pair from her. And then she also bought me these for Christmas. These are so beautiful. Look how beautiful this set is. She knows I love boho. Maybe maybe that'll help. Ooh, no, that's kind of terrible. <laughs> They're so pretty. Got these ones. They look like little lockets. The dangly ones. And then the ones with like the little... They're almost like dream catchers. They're so stinking cute. I might pause this though. And put on my little mushrooms. Because I just... Maybe I'll wear my bees. I don't know. I'm going to pause it and put a pair of earrings on. Because I waited for this. Hold on. They're so cute, guys. Oh my gosh. I love the mushroom earrings. They're my favorite. So I'm going to wear them. <laughs> I just love them. Now, my daughter, she's at an appointment. Her daddy had to take her to an appointment. They let me stay home so I could film this quiet because my husband's while I'm watching TV. She wanted me to show you guys a few little things that she got for Christmas, too. She brought them out here. And I know she watches all my videos, so she'll be highly upset if I don't. So she wanted me to show you just a couple of the things that she got as well. So she wanted me to show you that she got a beautiful birthstone necklace. Look how gorgeous that is. So she absolutely loved that. She got, oh, she loves the show called Ladybug. I don't know what it's about. But you saw I got her little action figures. One of her grandmothers, I don't remember who, <laughs> got her the actual, like, Barbie. Her name is Marionette. She, like, adores these cartoon things. She wanted me to show you that. 
and she wanted me to show you these unique Crayolas. So she got neon Crayolas. She got, these are called Colors of Kindness. And then, oh, these are, they're kind of like pastel. And then she got glitter crayons. She thought that was really, really cool. So she wanted me to show you that. And she wanted me to show you this gift set that she got. She thought this was really unique. Oh. She wanted me to show you these things while she was gone. So she got this cool little set. So she got a cherry blossom candle. And this stuff smells amazing. She got cherry blossom massage oil, hand soap, and this is by Buff Love, or is that BFF Love? I think this is by BFF Love. Then she got the cherry blossom hand cream. So it's like a whole set um, for the bath. And then she got bath salts, which she was like really tickled pink about because she's never used bath salts before. So she was really excited over this little set. So she just thought that was the bomb.com. So I think that's all. If I find a little more, I'll let you know. But this is what she wanted me to show you. She was so excited about those things. She thought you guys would love them. Then I got um, the Bath and Body work set sweater weather. So this is the aloe vera shower gel. This stuff smells. If you love sweater weather candle, you're going to love this set. So I got the, what is this? The shower gel, the fragrant uh, mist, and the hand cream, right? Yeah, the whole set. I was tickled. These, these smell, these smell amazing. So I was thrilled over that. I love Bath and Body Works. And then I also got iced cinnamon rolls hand sanitizer. Look how cute that is. It's so adorable. So I'm going to put that in my purse. And then I know for sure my mom got me this. This is so cute. I have Look, my new coffee cup, fueled by Jesus and coffee. Look how stinky cute. And then it has the frother thing. The I've never had one of these. So I am so excited to use this. You probably will see this stuff in an upcoming video. <laughs> I'm going to be all fancy because now I have a little frother. I've never had a frother. So I'm really, really excited to use but I love this cup. Isn't this cup beautiful? Fueled by Jesus and coffee. And it has like cute little snowflakes on it. Isn't it adorable? You know me and coffee cups. So I was tickle pink over that. And then I believe my grandmother got me this. So this is a homework scented candle. It's called Christmas Cupcake. The fragrant notes are whipped buttercream, shortbread cake, holiday sprinkles, and warm vanilla. Guys, if you could smell this candle, look at this beauty. If you could smell. Oh my God. You just want to eat. You just want to eat this thing. Oh my God. And it's a four wick. It's a four wick candle. If you could smell this. Look how beautiful it is. I think this is the biggest candle I've ever gotten in my life. <laughs> it's so cute. And then I got a cute little puppy two-year planner for my perkit. That's what I call my pocketbook <laughs> or purse. I don't know. Some people call them purses. Some people call them pocketbooks. Look how cute. Then um, this little, for we walk by faith, not by sight. This is an inspirational journal. So you can write all in here and at the top of every page is scripture, which I thought was just beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? And this is by Crown Jewels. So that was a beautiful little notebook. And then I got a scripture journaling set right up my alley. So when I open this, this includes a 112 page journal, 48 page project book, two rolls of washi tape, four sheets of stickers, three double-sided colored pencils, and felt-tip pens. So 
So when you open it, all that stuff is on this side. And then on this side is the journal. And it's like a little grid journal. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, it's all teal, like my favorite colors. Isn't that a cute little set? And it's all here. Isn't that adorable? So I got that, which I loved. And then I also got this, which I think this was for my mom, too. And this is a foot pampering gift set, which I love. My I always, my, my heels and all that stuff desperately need to be done. But what I thought was really cool with this is it has a foot mask, which is this, which causes, I know it's terrible for you guys to see, but this causes your, your heels to, like, peel. And then it has the sponge to wipe it off. And then, of course, it has, like, the little heel things down here. So this is a beautiful kit. I know that's really hard to look at. And then I do see one more thing I'm going to share with you guys. She has other stuff sitting here. I might share it with you if I can move it. She wanted me to share this because she thought this was cool. This is a Ibanium art kit. So this is called a Super Art Kit. It has a handle. It's Velcros. I love this kit. The crafter in me is like, heck yeah. Everything just fell out. I probably opened this backwards. I think I did. But anyways, I'll wrap it. The middle is an easel. Okay. Yeah, I have dropped stuffing out of it. So you have watercolors, pastels, erasers, crayons, oil pastels, markers, colored pencils, rulers, paint brushes, pencil sharpeners. The middle is an easel. Isn't that wild? Now, let me drop, let me get the stuff I dropped. Hold on one sec. It came with a little coloring book, which she didn't open, so I'm not gonna open it. But it came with a little coloring book, and then it came with paper clips so that you can clip like if you have a coloring page to the easel, you can paper, coffee, excuse me. You can paper clip the coloring page to the inside of that to the easel. So I just thought that little set, that was amazing. And her and her little nephew um, got that for Christmas. And I just think that this set, like the art person who loves art and crafting in me is like, Heck yeah! And the little easel, and it came with paper, and it's just, it, I can't believe the set. It's, it's just gorgeous. So that was an awesome little, and you can carry it everywhere with you. This would be so nice, like if you're traveling, that'd be, that'd be awesome. So awesome. So we're already 20 minutes in, 21 minutes in. So I'm going to let you guys go. And like I said, guys, this was not done as a brag or anything like that. I just thought it'd be fun to share some of the things that I'm so stoked over and just share some highlights from Christmas with you guys. I really, really, really hope that you guys had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I hope it was full of love and laughter if you celebrate. If you don't, I still hope that your day was beautiful and wonderful. And I know that, too, this was a hard Christmas for so many. I know the weather wasn't good for others. I know people have missing people. You know, I know it could have been hard for some. So for those who were going through things and things of that nature, my heart was with you. But look forward to the new year. The new year is coming. Um, I'll be sharing probably one more vlog with you guys before we get back into the swing of regular filming with the new year, which will be homemaking and cleaning. We'll have a whole Christmas takedown, <laughs> deep cleaning, all that good stuff as the new year comes in. But I will probably share one more video with you guys. If you're interested, let me know down in the comments. Um, the 28th is my... I'm going to be 43 years old on December 28th. So this will be also one of the very first birthdays where I will get to celebrate with my mom, my sister, and my grandmother and my daughter. It's going to be amazing. And they have something special planned and they're going to take me somewhere. I guess I've never been. So I thought it'd be fun if it's something cool and exciting that maybe I would vlog and take you guys along with me if you'd be interested. 
but I am so excited. You have no idea how much that blesses my heart. I get to be with all, all the generations are going to be together for my birthday. So that makes turning 43 worth it. But I probably won't see you until like the 29th or somewhere in there. So if I don't see you from there on and I don't see you in person, because I, I will comment on my community, if this makes any sense. But Happy New Year! Bring in the new year with smiles and good intentions and positivity. And I know 2023 is going to be a good year. I'm really praying that it's going to be a good year for this Just Missy. I probably will do a, a New Year's intentions video. I've done that every year since I started my YouTube channel. So look out for that. And I love you guys. And I'll be talking to you guys in another video. Bye.